Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So it's been a little bit since I've highlighted a specific U.S. Mint release, but I, you know what, this one definitely warrants warrants some sort of attention, okay? Because it's the first time in U.S. Mint history that they have produced a palladium coin or a uh, um, an ounce of pure palladium as a American Eagle. Okay, so we we have the gold variety. We have the silver, okay, they're both extremely popular. We have the platinum eagle, and then now we have a palladium, which has, which carries a face value of $25, okay, and the reason why that the U.S. Mint put a face value is to help recognize the fact that it is um, legal tender. So if, if someone was crazy enough or maybe dumb enough to spend this, it would indeed be $25 face value. Okay, but if that were ever the case, uh, that would be just a plain, straight up head scratcher. So let's talk about its place in modern coinage history. Okay, first of all, the U.S. Mint I don't think is going to be releasing this through their website for sale. They're going to be made available through third-party sites such as Atmex and Modern Coin Mart are two such outlets that are beginning to um, pre-sell these. Now Atmex seems to be the cheapest so far at I think $118 over spot which is right around $900 so you figure the extra $118 you're going to be looking at $1020 so $1020 um, I'm not gonna lie to you the design is gorgeous and it, there's a good reason why uh, they, they're adopting uh, the mercury dime obverse and they're um, modifying the reverse of the um, s uh, the standing Liberty half dollar combining it together to come up with this masterpiece now the only the only thing I object is okay they continuously rehash classic designs for a lot of their coins while it's going to help sell them i think it's it's going to get old eventually and they're just going to have to find a new way of uh or find new designs or designers to really put its classic spin on these type of coins without adopting the mercury head or the standing liberty quarter or the half dollar or you know whatever the case may be Okay, the, the design influence is getting old, but it's gorgeous. Okay, it's fantastic. Me personally, am I going to be in on one of these? And the answer is probably not. Okay, and it really has everything to do with the metal and what it's used for. Much like silver and platinum, palladium is an industrial metal. Okay, um, for those of you that are aware, um, scrap yards dismantle automobiles okay all day long okay cars coming in coming in out of the woodworks you know 20 30 year old cars getting dismantled and their parts sold okay one of those parts is the catalytic converter palladium and traces amounts of platinum are harvested from these auto parts on a daily basis so the palladium is an industrial metal used mainly in the automotive industry okay they they're also used to an extent in the medical field as well so those are two such examples and you know same with silver with electronics and then platinum because of their industrial usage i i see i i don't to, to me um it's not as an attractive bullion offer to, to, to keep into like say a portfolio or to even have because I, I'm a firm believer that these type of things will not appreciate in value over time now here's the caveat if the mint doesn't sell that many and let's say they sell only 25,000 and the run goes for maybe two or three years then these will probably appreciate but you know we're talking 20 30 years down the road when a lot of people have forgotten about these and there's just a few of them out there so um, they're going to be made available through these third-party sites, uh, through uh, one of the vendors. 
um, for spot plus the 120 I think modern coin mart is close to that $200 level that they're upcharging for these they're also going to offer the first strike slabbed pieces which personally I would just stay away from um, if you were even considering purchasing one of these uh, it's not even gonna be worth it and you know what whether it's NGC or PCGS I, I just don't see the value um, I'm sure there's gonna be a lion's share of these bad boys grading out at mid-state 70 so you know it the pops are gonna be off the charts to begin with and it, it's I don't know it's just not the investment I'm interested in but if you're into palladium this one is 0.9995 fine which is pretty gosh darn fine to me and um, yeah uh, th this is really all you need to know okay the release date is slated for the 5th of October so we got say a day after tomorrow today's a third and um, if you're interested yeah hop online again first time offering by the mint a palladium coin <laughs> um, if it's not selling for spot it's a coin that, that that's just my take on it uh, even if it is just for investment purposes and the precious metal field of things but um, hope you guys enjoyed the pictures uh, there's nothing out there they, these are um, sourced from a couple of uh, sellers and um, they're about as good as you're gonna get before you get the real deal so that is the 2017 one ounce palladium eagle coin uh, will be available in two days so uh, if any of you guys uh, buy one of these let me know how they look uh, they, they look outstanding uh, it's just it is what it is but um, anyways that, that'll do it and um, you know thanks again for watching if you like the content you know what button to hit and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel a lot of great stuff we talk about and we have more going on for you so i'll talk to you guys soon and that'll do sir see ya